Welcome to the Superbike reveal of Electric Superbike Twente. We are very proud to show you the Apex RS from all angles and give some technical insight into the Superbike. We achieved to build an electric Superbike that weighs just 190 kilograms, has 160 horsepower, 13.2 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, and will go up to speeds of above 250 kilometers per hour. The reveal that you're about to see is a virtual 360 degree world where you can look and walk around yourself. There are buttons placed on the floor and on the superbike that allow you to see the superbike from a different angle and get information about the components respectively. Once you're done with viewing the superbike from all angles, you can get yourself seated onto the Apex RS, close the visor and start racing. This will conclude the tour around the Apex RS. Imagine motorcycling in the future. An experience that adapts to you. The changing traffic and to any road you're on. Imagine having a sixth sense of everything around you and being connected to your surroundings in an entirely new way. Imagine a whole new level of aliveness, free from worry, free from discomfort, free to enjoy each and every moment in its entirety. We did. An electric bike manufacturer from China, Da Vinci, made a surprise. While for the performance, on paper, Da Vinci claims this motorbike has the same capabilities as 1000cc motorbike. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour can be achieved in 3 seconds, while the top speed can reach 200 km per hour. All this performance supported by 17.7 kWh battery that can provide around 135 horsepower and a maximum torque 850 N. There are so many special things to be found in the Da Vinci DC100, including self-balancing technology and advanced features that makes the bike extended. Then you will also get remote control feature even though the range is limited, but it's good because we never seen it before. Introducing the Zero Quick Strike Package for SRF. Limited to only 100 individually numbered packages worldwide to preserve the event's exclusivity, the Quick Strike package delivers race inspired performance parts to construct the ultimate SRF. The face of the extremely limited Quick Strike is unmistakable. Starting at the front of the bike with the streamlined carbon fiber front fender that sits below a black aluminum fly screen. Bookended by smoke lens, LED front and rear indicators, and followed by another carbon fiber fender on the rear wheel. 
Quick Strike riders tuck in behind the premium mirrors, bar ends, and lever guards that all elevate the cockpit experience. A Quick Strike motorcycle never rests, it waits. Between rides, the aluminum rear stand spools keep the motorcycle poised, coiled, and ready for the next thrilling ride. Zero is back to elevate this model to new heights with equipment inspired by the company's factory race build from the 2019 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Limited edition, unlimited precision. The Zero Quick Strike Package. This live wire as a motorcycle, as we all know and love them, and then there's the electric -y bit and how that works and what the advantages and limitations of that are. So passing cars, overtaking traffic, you can just fire past them. Hard driving out of your favorite tight corner, it's got all you want. There's definitely been no disappointment in the dynamics for me riding this thing as a robot. When you look at the bike itself, it's got kind of show a big piston fork, a show a twin tube rear shock, it's got 17 inch wheels, a 180 section rear tire, upside down fork, Brembo brakes. That Harley Live wire is the first one of those big ones that have said, don't buy the petrol version, buy this electric one instead. Today our goal is to revive this motorcycle by adapting it to new current technologies and with an electric motor. Today we will revive a myth. Our first motorcycle will be the Persang E-Track. An elegant motorcycle ideal to move around or out of town. 120 kilometers max range. 110 kilometers per hour top speed, three fixed batteries, 11 kilowatt power, equal to 400 cc petrol engine. 